All right, welcome back to some more Atomic Heart. Please, please pr pr proceed. To oh, you. Information room. How can, can I, how can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The line can be, be opened with my multi-key error. Multi-key not found. All Terish Cobra models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi-key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. I don't know. Charles. What do the special neural connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade major? What, you mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. Fair enough. Uh, Alright, so that doesn't have anything. Does this have something? It does. I will let you guys read this. Pause and read. Please pr pr proceed to the information Oh, find your arm. Apparently this door is open now. Okay. More looting, of course. I feel like you're not going to be a friend. Oh, of course it's got to be on the other side. <laughs> Always got to make it difficult. Wow. He took a lot of damage. Eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. The backstabbing machine that killed me. It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well, just leave me alone. I want to do us off. All right, fair enough. Can't. Hmm. I wonder. Well. No. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you can dismember like these. Ugh. I was just kind of wondering if you could do that to them. But apparently not. That would be too mean, considering we can still talk to them. Dead bodies all over. The oh place. God! I brought him with me. Oops. It was going by a little bit fast. <laughs> I got it though. Whoa, check out those balls. This shot reminds me of a DNA double helix. I'd rather not know oh, those what it reminds you of, Major. What? You think I don't know what DNA looks like? I've no doubt about the depth of your learning. First an atom, then a DNA double helix. You sure they're only making. And them? there's Tereshkova's arm. Oh. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter who's serving the. Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. 
But yeah, I could just stay here well away because I have my shock thing on. That I'm gonna have to make more because that is OP as heck, man. Oh, why do you tease me so? Can't get everything. Oh! Did not mean to hit the shift button there. Alright, let's read this and see if there's anything new. There is. The hidden VDNH test, huh? Cool. Alright. Ooh, oh, this is one of the things. Can I guess it? Nope. Alright. How do I get out? F. There we go. I wonder how you get in there. Seems to be something pretty important, so probably have to do with that later. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi-key activated. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you, and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. 
Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay. Is there anything in here? That'd be no. Noria's here. It's strange that the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. What's strange? This. Maybe? Flowers. Give her flowers. Okay, some I would... Some robots are almost human. And some humans are almost robots. I would love to, but, uh... It's kind of... Strange times we live in. Gotcha. Well, used to live in. So there probably is something over there. What? Uh, what? What pedestals? I don't know. Then there's definitely got to be something in here. Up <clears throat> oh, the hammer. Symbol of the motherland. Oops. Uh huh. Reviews. That's a lot of reviews. All right. Voice of the motherland. So it'd be a speaker. A radio. Yeah, I already got the flowers. So, about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Mm hmm. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Gah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. All right. Put something cheerful on, would you? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Mm -hmm. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? 
a cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my so fucking I just did all that chain? for nothing. <laughs> but I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour to the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. So we're just walking super slowly. <gasps> I feel like these guys are going to come to life. You're so slow. Can you oh walk a little my. bit? Oh my gosh. Would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one. It just stands there buck naked, as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? I feel like this oh robot my. has lost her That's mind. That's a mess? And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. It seems like it. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. Mm. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. Mm. How did it ever come to this? Just I have so no know, idea. Can we move on? <laughs> tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair Eleanor. vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade! I mean, we've just spent five minutes walking from there to here. So apparently we're not in too big of a hurry. Is she gonna stop and talk about this one too? Oh, who's a good boy? 
Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode. Because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Can I go in here and save? Nope. Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Uh, what do you mean? Establish the connection. Do I need to move something? Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. <sighs> Does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. But aren't we on the sub-levels? There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, after all of that, I... Actually, let's listen to this first. This is a robot vacuum, or robo-vacuum. It's totally badass. Just look at it moving in slow motion. Okay, let's see. It's got an elongated body and very narrow shoulders, which allows it to suck up dirt in almost any area. Just look at all the trash everywhere. But the robot vacuum doesn't give a crap. It just destroys all that junk and keeps on sucking up the dirt. Uh oh! Someone spilled a bucket of paint on the robot vacuum. But the robot vacuum acts like it doesn't even notice it got sticky paint all over it. Look at that fucker! It'll just clean everything up, and it'll just keep on sucking. Get it, Dimitri? That's how we need to open our fellow citizens' eyes to the amazing things we make here at the facility. Not your lame old, the Zaporozhia Automotive Factory presents model ROZGDFG20 or 40 or whatever. It's boring to death. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a little bit boring. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one.